My name is Marian Small and I was able to write this particular activity which we hope your students will enjoy. Um, we want students at younger grades to have the opportunity to practice addition and subtraction. Um, in this case it'll be addition for the most part, but we want them to make it kind of interesting. It's not very exciting to just do a whole lot of additions. So what you'll see in this activity is students are asked to uh, take two numbers and add them. The numbers will be under 100. And the rule is that when you add these two numbers, the answer, the sum, has to be about four times as big as the littler number. So the question is to fool around, to see what happens, to figure out um, what numbers might make it work. So lots of kids will just practice and they will try numbers randomly. And because it's a digital resource, kids can try numbers and check that it works. And I'll talk in a second about how they check. Um, eventually, our goal is for students to come to what I'm going to call a generalization. That if you start with a number and you end up with something four times as big, the only way mathematically that that can happen is if the other guy you add is about three times as big as the first guy. So this will be something they discover. It's not something they're going to think about, but they'll try things and figure it out. What's very cool about the interactive is that what a student can do is just type in a number, type in another number, and you want to see, is it true that the answer is about four times as big as the little number? And when you click, you're able to make a copy of the length of the little number and make another copy and another copy and another copy. You look at those four copies, you look at your sum, and you say, yeah, I did it, or no, I didn't do it. So kids can check themselves because the interactive allows them to do that. Hopefully, by doing this all these times, they will come up with the generalization that we want them to, which is to see that it only works if I pick a second number about three times as big as the first number. Um, I believe some kids will come to that generalization and some kids may never even notice it. I think maybe part of your job is to help them come to that generalization.